Hi, this is Tom Sansone, National Property Inspections. We're in an attic right now, and you can see that white and gray stuff there uh, would appear as though there's like gray and, uh, uh, and white insulation there, and the white part is the insulation, but the uh, gray part actually isn't. That's actually uh, lint from the dryer, and I want to get over, if I can, I don't want to step in the wrong spot here, i got to be careful. And I'm heading over towards the dryer vent termination. The people decided that they wanted to have a second floor laundry. So when they put it in there, they said, well, we'll just vent the dryer into the attic. And, uh, and uh, hopefully you could see that there. That's the dryer vent right there. And they've been just dumping all the lint and moisture up here in the attic. This is the wall. The wall is all coated with the lint. And then over here where you see where it's real black at the underside of the roof, that's uh, mildew, which uh, is a type of mold. Dumping all that moisture in here. The moisture hits the cold surface of the underside of the roof. It creates an environment that the mold can grow. So now they have a major mold problem here. I've heard prices of like around five, six thousand dollars to have this remediated. All they had to do was vent the dryer outside, but uh, they cut in corners and just vented it inside the attic, and now they got a little bit of a problem here. So if you do decide that you want a second floor laundry, don't vent the dryer in the attic. Vent it outside. Avoid problems like this. I'm seeing so. Thank <laughs> you.